Today, we're hunting for smallmouth bass with one of my absolute favorite baits, a jerk bait. This is a new one that we're sort of on an experimental mission. I think you're gonna find them real interesting. You know, Rapala has made a couple of different uh, jerk bait configurations, one of them being the X-Rap, which is absolutely, bar none, one of my absolute favorite fishing lures for a wide variety of different fish species. One thing that's different about the X-Wrap versus the Shadow Wrap, number one, the X-Wrap is a floating bait or suspending bait. It actually has positive buoyancy. The uh, Shadow Wrap is actually a sinking bait that also has a little bit different shape to it. It has a flat sides to it versus a rounded body. And what this bait does is when you pull it in the water, it has a, like a wiggling action. And then you, when you kill it, it actually tips head down and starts to sink. It's mimicking a minnow that's in distress. You call it a dying flutter. You know, that minnow kick, like a, a minnow in a tank, you see it when they're starting to kick. You know how they, they give that little quiver and shake and roll down? That's the trigger. That's what those fish are looking for. And what we're doing is, you know, giving the bait rips and, you know, intermittent pausing in, you know, maybe three to five seconds. Realistically, anytime you're fishing with a lot of slack line fishing techniques, a lot of times I'll see the strike, I'm sweeping the bait down, and I pick up the, the rod tip so you can see my bow in the line, and I'll actually see my, that white line actually jump, and that's where the strike happens. That means I have to pick up three, four feet of line real quickly to set the hook. I'm just sitting off at the back of the boat. He's just moving fast enough where this bait, bait the slightest movement with that rod, and the thing staff dashes and flashes to the side and does all the things it needs to to get a big bite. It actually comes in two sizes, or I should say lip configurations. This bait here will run about four foot. The one Al's been throwing, it runs to about seven foot. Actually, this bait fishes deeper than seven feet. You could fish it seven, eight, nine, ten feet down. It is a slow sinking bait, and uh, you just got to have a little bit of patience. And it's incredible how little you have to do with the rod to make the bait work. I mean, you, listen, you can almost fish this thing in place. The slightest twitch with the rod and that bait, in many cases, you can make the bait do a 180, a 180 right into the fish's face. It's got so many unique attributes from the dying flutter to the 180 where it reverses into, in, into the fish's face. These are all triggering factors that bait doing something completely different triggers these fish to bite in a wide variety of conditions. There's no question about it. Spring, summer, or fall, the jerk bait, like the shadow, is a bait you need in your tackle box. Got him. You know, a lot of people fish jerk baits all over this country for smallies and for largemouths. And I can guarantee you, you're gonna wanna add this one to your bag of tricks. It does things no other jerkbait does. <laughs>